Welcome to episode number two of our new series, Financial Analysis Techniques Global Case Studies. Our topic today is uh, Common Size Analysis Income Statement. Let's start. As you can see, I have used the five years common presentation method. On the left are the last recent five years figures as it has presented in the income statements and on the right side we will calculating the common size analysis income statement i will divide each item of the income statement by the revenue of net sales but to do that you should calculate it as a positive percentage again positive percentage so you need to replace the negative sign of the expenses by a positive sign or to use an excel function like if excel function as the one that i have used type equal if and select cell d4 more than or equal zero comma d4 divided by d4 then press f4 comma minus d4 divided by d4 but don't forget to press f4 for the cell related to revenue then copy and paste to the remain items you can use icon sets conditional formatting same as that i have used you can watch our first episode dynamic shapes and formatting effects in the other series excel for fb and a cost management you can also add an average to each main subtotal of the income statement now each line of income statement data has converted to an easily comparable amount measured as a percentage. Now it is time to data story telling or the interpretation of these ratios. It's not about just calculating the ratio itself. I have added simple interpretation just as an example for tutorial purposes, but in practice, you need to do more investigation and deep analysis, followed by clear interpretation and visual recommendations. For further advice about the data storytelling or the interpretation, I would invite you to read this advice by the global expert Andres Leo Limberg. You can find the link to this in the comments. Back again to our case study. I have compared the common size data for each main subtotal related to year 2020 with both the previous year 2021 and the average of the five years period of our analysis. You can also insert illustration charts, same as I did. The second case study is Holson. Also, it is a global building material organization. I have applied custom gradient colors similar to the logo of the company. Again, you can watch our first episode, Dynamic Shapes and Formatic Effects, in the other series Excel for FB and the cost management. Also, I have used dynamic shapes for data storytelling or the interpretation. Now, let us see a simple advice by another global expert, James Premier. I have asked James about using the common size analysis to improve the delivery of the business efficiency program. James has provided a general advice for all companies to further analyze to place or items. He advised to focus on two areas. 
The staffing cost as a percentage of net sales, also the indirect spend or overheads as a percentage of net sales. The second advice was after his reading to the wholesome data analysis. All I would add from looking at this company is sales are up, gross profits are up, and yet operating profit is down, which again reflects the fact businesses focus and have control of their direct costs but lack these when they look at their indirect costs. There are opportunities for profit improvements. The third case study is Heidelberg material, also a global building material organization. But unfortunately, the full annual financial statements for year end 2022 was not published till the moment I was recorded this episode. So I have used the recent five years analysis from year 2017 till year 2021, but Heidelberg material was published a summary presentation for the full year results of 2022, so I have used it in this sheet by applying the waterfall analysis to interpret the cumulative effect of sequentially introduced positive or negative values. You can watch our episode number 9, Price Volume. Mix analysis and waterfall for further details. Also, there is a very helpful article by Mindia Tracy on her website, Online Training Hub. I would recommend this article for you that includes a lot of details, examples about how to use the waterfall analysis and applying waterfall chart. Finally, in sheet number five, you can find another way of using the common size analysis. I have compared the data analysis of the three case study. For tutorial and educational purposes, I have used just two key items, the operating income and the net income. As you can see in column B, I have used the most recent year's result 2022. In column Q, I have used the average ratio for each company. Finally, in column R, I have used the average ratio, the average ratio for the building material industry itself. By calculating the average of the three companies case study for year 2022, again for year 2022, this just for tutorial and educational purposes, but in practice, you should calculate this average for 10 companies in the same industry at least. It's not enough to use just three companies, as I did for this tutorial education. Again, our episode today is just a simple example of using the common size analysis for the tutorial and education purposes. But in the next episodes, I will discuss the two common size analysis, of course, the balance sheet and the common size analysis of cash flow for another global case study. But in this time or in this episode will be for another industry. But now, would you like additional resources? Here you are upon advised by Sylvia Mahotova. Financial Statement Analysis by Gnosis Learning. See you.